Hi everybody, Greg Osborne, the dry air guy here. Today I'm going to talk about filter maintenance and uh, our six month maintenance program. So every six months we look at how do we change the filter elements and uh, clean the bowls, and check the automatic drain valves if they're in place, and uh, I'm also going to talk about the PERF 50 uh, six month service plan as well where we'll change the filters, check out the drains, and uh, all the cleaning that goes along with that. So I'm going to take you to a local body shop not too far from here and uh, go through all the maintenance. I think you'll find it very interesting, informative, and uh, I hope you like it. Have a good day. Today I'm going to be changing out some booth filters here at uh, one of my body shops. And uh, just want to show the proper procedure for changing these filters out, making sure everything is clean and seated up tight and correctly. So I've already drained the system down completely, so there's no more air left in it. So see how this is loose? That means that there's no pressure on it. And I can get that moved down now. Inside here we've got a uh, automatic drain valve. This particular drain valve needs to be replaced because it was jammed up. It got filled with rust and it's just not working correctly. So to do that, we have to uh, loosen the bottom nut here. A crescent wrench, put it on this nut and just loosen it up here. You can actually reach up into the bowl, grab the Grab the flow drain and push it down through. There's a rubber seal on the inside. You want to make sure you pull that out with it. Rubber seal there. So that's the old system. The next thing I want to do is take this to the wash basin and I want to uh, completely wash it out with hot soapy water to get all the junk out of it and make sure there's nothing in there that could contaminate the system. So I'd like to bring the bowl down and submerge it in hot soapy water and really scrub it out really good and uh, get all the debris out. Hot soapy water, scrub it out really good, get any debris out. That's exactly what you need. Wipe it down with a rag and uh, makes it really good. You should do this with every single canister that you put out there. Anytime you change out a filter, you should always clean the inside of the canister completely and make sure it's totally clean. Here's the new float drain valve. So, washer goes on first, over top of the nipple. Reach this all the way up into the side. Turns through. Put your nut on, center it up good, and then tighten it on. You do want to make sure that you center that, center that right in the very center of it. Hand tighten is good enough. You don't need to put a wrench on it to tighten it. It's good hand tighten because what you're doing is drawing down on that rubber gasket to, to form a seal. That's all there is to it. Nice and clean on the inside now. Okay. Set this aside for a moment. I'm going to take off the old filter, spin this off. Okay. Set that aside. The next thing I always want to do is clean out the top, the top side of the head. A little bit of a damp rag, clean it out good. And uh, when you reach up there, you're also going to find the seal that goes to the top of that filter. And you want to make sure that that seal comes out along with the filter. So when you put your new one in, you're going to have a new seal on it. And it came out. 
make sure there's no debris left up in here. Put it back together. container. In this case the filter is a 3C150. It's a rather large filter for a mainline system. It takes out the oil out of the system to 0.01 microns and gives you a oil-free air. Close to oil-free air you shouldn't get. Okay. There's a piece of tape that holds that seal in so you take the tape off Make sure the seal stays in place. What you want to do is screw this up until it just stops and then give it about an eighth of a turn. So just snug plus an eighth. Just snugged up now. Eight the turn, that's it. It's set. Right. Take that ring, slide it over the end. ring has got a push button in it right here. That push button is what locks it into place. First you push your canister up over the O-ring for a good seal. And then you slide this up, push the button, and then rotate it into place. Now it's locked in. So that one's all set. Now we're going to move on to a different one. Nice and loose, that's good. This particular one doesn't have a lot of clearance, so we drop this down a little bit, and then we have to unspin the filter because there's not enough clearance between the head and the, and the uh, dryer down here. So spin this one out and drop her down, and then a repeat procedure with this one, get it all, all set. going to have to go back together the same way it came out. You want to make sure you record the date that you changed the filters on the tag here. So there's our old date. We're going to scratch that off. We're going to put on the date changed. 10-11-2010. So, six months from now, we'll know it's time to change these again. This one gets an O-ring, too, on the top of it, right there. So you can see that O-ring. So we make sure that that gets on. This is our first stage coming from the compressor. It's all stainless steel mesh, and it's designed to get rid of the water in the system. So, water will come in along with the air, go up 180 degrees, attached to that stainless steel mesh, form into large droplets, and then fall to the bottom. Then this automatic float drain, it's in the bottom here. That's it. You can hear it, hear it bouncing in the bottom. That will float up when water comes in and drain that liquid out. Just going to wipe up the inside of this head out then. Clicked into place, you know it's done. Remove the tape from the o ring. Seal. It's actually a flat seal. Flat, flat ring seal. Edge right in there. And then 
and this is the one that we have to drop inside of our filter like this come into position and This one doesn't have any head space. Yeah. Okay, that procedure is done over here. Now we're going to move over toward the booth and take a look at the uh, filters in the booth and open them up and check them out for, for debris and uh, clean them both up really good and then uh, put the elements in and put them back together. At this point I find there's some, quite a bit of desiccant inside of the filter. That means that uh, the desiccant from the PERF 50 is starting to break down a little bit and it's ending up in the filter element. Desk and dust. So, I cut the desk and dust, but it's just about clogged up. Probably the same thing over here. And they're coming from the same pipe. I'm sure they both have desk and dust in them. Oh, yeah. Lots of it. Okay. So, I'm going to go wash out these two bowls. We're going to come back clean out the inside of the heads, put in the new filter elements. Uh, this is in the booth, so I want to make sure these are super, super clean. All right, I'm back with the canisters all washed out nice and clean. And we're going to take clean rag. We're just going to get the top side of the head here and make sure there's nothing loose in here. So that's in good shape. Take our new filters. Remember to tighten up your bed cock. A little sticker. And write the new date on it. Today's date. And then you know to change it six months from now. I like to put the date, today's date on. That way, if you don't paint a lot, then you can extend that time out a little bit, but it's a good jogger to check your filters and see what the, where they're at. Done in here. So in here we've got a PERF 50 uh, painting system for two painters, two booths. And uh, systems here. So, of course, this is pretty filthy, so we clean that up. Stage filter. This is a uh, 3P090. C090. I look at that filter and I say it's, it's actually quite clean. The inside of a new one looks pretty clean and that looks real clean. So I'm going to leave that filter in. Apparently this did get changed at some point not that long.
both of these, wash them out good, put them back in service. Okay, just wash these out completely, nice and shiny on the inside. So, take and wipe them out really good, dry them all off, and put them back into service. You always want to hear that valve on the inside be able to bounce up and down. Listen. And you know it's working. And when I fill it up with water, it should drain right out. Now this one for the coalescing filter, this has got the pet cock in the bottom. So that goes in the second position with the coalescent filter on the PERF 25 or PERF 50. The PERF system will reduce compressed air humidity below 1% on a continuous basis and reduce dry time by 70% compared to a refrigerated dryer at 15% compressed air humidity. Inside your box is good and clean. The PERF system will reduce compressed air humidity below 1% on a continuous basis and reduce dry time by 70% compared to a refrigerated dryer at 15% compressed air humidity. If you need help in your shop, contact me at Greg, G -R -E -G, at dryair, spelled D-R-I-A-I-R, dot com. <laughs>